Hey, Kate. Katie. All right, well, you contacted me. I was trying to send a message to you, and I can't, so I'm going to make you a video response because the YouTube messaging system is completely fucked. I watched this video of yours, and I appreciate that you're uh, talking to men as well as women. I think it's important that we connect with everybody, not just men or women. I don't think the gender really matters. I think people are the same. I don't, uh, I don't like how you talk about how like your answer is break up. Like that's the end of the thing. If it's not this, then go. Like you're, you're not going to find a relationship where you have all those, you know, where you, where your expectations are met everywhere. You'll find it in places and the great majority of a relationship I think is about you know, all the times when your expectations aren't met, all the flaws, that's what makes people unique, is how, how hard is it to change? How much do we have to change to be with this person? I've had to change a lot to be with Amanda. A lot. I'm like a completely different person. But, you know, I'm who I always wanted to be. Like, growing up, I thought, man, I would, I would see these guys with, like, facial hair, you know, like, beards walking around with their sunglasses on, or, like, just guys just didn't care, just were relaxed, just, you know, were at ease. I was always so on edge, I was always so neurotic, but I being with Amanda's really helped me to put myself at ease, because she's also very neurotic. And, uh, you know, we both kind of have to tone it down <laughs> a lot. I've had to tone it down. I mean, I've had to kind of open up more. I've always kind of been closed off. And she's had to open up more also. I don't like that you say break up because you're very charismatic and you're very... Uh, you speak with con great conviction and when you say you have to break up you have to like people are gonna listen to that and really believe that they have to and it's a very destructive way of living because you're just saying if a relationship has a problem get out and move on to the next relationship rinse repeat like when does that stop you're always gonna run across big problems with people we we fucking we are the ones that rationalize it in our head and we're like oh they're so horrible they did this and if we want to leave we leave it has nothing to do with the other person it's our own fucking insecurity there's no need to leave a relationship it not that there aren't reasons for it I think if someone's excessively physically violent no no I don't because even that I think we can communicate I think we can but the cycle of violence can be broken from within. In fact, that may be the only way to break it or remove the person completely from the equation. But why would we do that? I think we can break the cycle. I'm not going to give up on people. Okay, that's a little bit of a response. But I saw that you contacted me. What uh? What do you want? What did you want to say? What were you masking? And no, I'm not going to burn the shirt. That's a sweet shirt. See ya.